Okay, so let's say you've previously been using a different email marketing software, for example, MailChimp, and you want to move over your subscribers from MailChimp to Flowdesk. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, so basically you want to go into MailChimp and go to audience, and this will show you um, a list of all your subscribers. You want to click on the subscriber lists and not just the contacts. Um, I think MailChimp basically counts everyone on your list as a contact, whether they've unsubscribed from you or not. So you don't want these people because some of them have actually unsubscribed and don't want to hear from you. So make sure you click on the subscribers list. Then what you want to do is um, make sure you select all. I'm trying not to scroll down so that I don't show any personal details. Um, but what you want to do is click on this little arrow here at the bottom and select all so that all 406 of these subscribers have been selected. You then want to click export segment. And what that will do is then take you to this next page, which shows you um, your audience exports. This little clock just means that it's currently doing it. It can take um, a few minutes and then they will send you an export by email. And what the export does is basically um, create a CSV, so a spreadsheet file of all of your email subscribers from that list that you just exported. So that will get sent to you by email um, and it will look something like this. So I've had an email come through saying MailChimp audience export complete. I'm going to click on that um, and then I'm going to click download list data. And that is going to download, as I said, um, a zip folder, which then if I double click, this opens up a CSV file, which is um, a spreadsheet file. So just leave that as it is. You don't really need to go into it or um, mess with it at all. You can then go straight into Flowdesk, go to audience and subscribers. Then you want to go to upload a CSV and then select upload CSV file and go and find the file that you just downloaded and exported from MailChimp. Now, the next section you need to fill out is basically um, matching up the fields that you have in your MailChimp list with the fields that you're gonna have in your Flowdesk list. Um, so this is your CSV data or the data that has come from MailChimp. So you've got email address, um, Flowdesk has recognized this as being an email address, so it's matched it with your email. Um, then Flowdesk has recognized that Abigail is um, a first name and this is the last name and then you need to match it with what field you want that to go in in Flowdesk. So basically just copy it across. So there's going to be some other data that has been on your MailChimp list that's come through in this CSV file. Um, some of it you may not have a clue what it is um, or care about it. Um, I know I certainly don't care about most of this stuff. Um, but you might have some tags in there. So um, for example, you might have um, people who have signed up over a certain time ago or something like that, or you might have other fields um, to do with your audience in MailChimp um, and click continue once you have matched up all of those areas. Now you get the choice to add those people to a segment if you want to. You can um, find a segment that you've already created or you can create a new one now so that you know for your own reference that these people were joining your list because you've moved them over from MailChimp. So let's create that new um, uh, segment there and click continue. Then it will say, hooray, your CSV has been successfully uploaded and matched. Um, and they'll send you an email as soon as the import has been completed because it can take a few minutes just for them to upload all those people and match up those um, fields. So let's click finish now. So as you start to refresh the page, um, emails will start to appear here, but once they have finished completely adding this list, you will receive an email as well.